Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video shows you how you can reset your Fire TV stick back to its factory settings, i.e. wipe everything off of it and take it back as if it was brand new, as if you were setting it up for the first time just using your remote control. So grab your remote control. Now I've got a first generation fire stick here, but this applies right the way through the range. Any fire stick you've got, if you've got this remote, if you've got the uh, one of these remotes or something similar, it will still work. So all you do is grab your remote control, okay, and what you need to do is press and hold the back button, which is this button here, and the right direction button, at the same time and keep them held down so i'm just going to do that now so press them both together keep them held down so you've got to do it for at least 10 seconds maybe more and there we go once you see this it says reset to factory defaults factory reset has been initiated and will occur automatically in this amount of seconds now if you want to back out just press the middle button on the remote control if you're happy to reset it just leave it and let's see what happens so here we are it's uh, saying resetting your amazon fire tv stick to factory default so like i say this will reset everything it'll wipe everything off of it so obviously if you don't want to wipe anything then don't follow this guide and as you can see there you go it says your amazon fire tv is switching off now this is going to take a little bit of time so just be patient with it and there we go it's just switched off and hopefully in a few seconds it will switch back on Here we go, and it says resetting your Fire TV stick. Please do not unplug the power cable during the update. Now, that little line is just going up there. Now, at times it might stop, it might jump. Just leave it. Do not unplug the power cable from uh, the wall socket or from the TV because it will render your Fire TV stick absolutely useless if you do that. So here we go, it's booting up again, so we've got the Fire TV Stick logo come up. And there we go, so it now says it's optimising system storage and applications. It says this will take approximately 10 minutes to complete. So again, just be patient with this, let it do what it needs to do, don't unplug it, otherwise you could screw up your Fire TV Stick. So I'm going to pause this video and we're going to come back to it when it's nearing the end of the 10 minutes. Okay, so as you can see now, it's just coming to the end. The uh, little line has made it right to the very end. Hopefully shouldn't be too long now. And there we go. So it's now searching for the remote. So I'm just going to press the picture of the house to pair the remote. And there we are. It's found the remote. So it says press the play pause button to start. And it's now asking us to choose our language. So I'm going to select English United Kingdom because that's where I am. And now it's scanning for network. So this is it. It's now reset and uh, it's going to scan for network. So uh, let's just uh, let that happen. And there we go. So it's given me a list of networks in the local area. So I'm just going to connect to one of them. And it's now asking for the password. So I'm just going to type the password in. So I've just typed in the password and I'm going to press the play pause button on the remote. And there we go, it now says it's connecting. It confirms that the connection was successful and I've typed in the password correctly. And it's now checking for any updates that might be needed. So it gives us a couple of options here. It says sign in with your Amazon account. I already have an Amazon account or if you're new to Amazon, you can select that. Well, I've already got an Amazon account. So uh, I can just uh, select, I already have an Amazon account, middle button, and there we go. I just type in my Amazon registered login ID, which is usually the email address that's registered with Amazon. So I'm just gonna do that. There we go, so I've typed that in, but I've blurred it out, obviously for security reasons. So I'm just gonna press the play pause button, and then it's gonna ask for the password. So uh, let's just do that. So there you go, I've typed in the password, and again, I'm just gonna press the play pause button, to sign in so it's now registering the fire tv stick incidentally the sign-in procedure on some fire tv sticks might be different 
it might give you a link to go to the website on a computer, tablet or a phone and log in that way. Now it has said to me that the network connection has been lost so I'm just going to select try again okay, and just uh, see if it reconnects, usually it will do. And there you go, it's uh, now signed in so it's saying your Amazon Fire TV stick is registered to me. Do you want to continue to use this account? So yes, I'm just going to grab the remote control and press the middle button. And it's asking me, do I want to save the Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon? So it says here, Wi-Fi password entered on this device will be saved to Amazon to help you connect your compatible devices. So to learn more, go to that website. So it's up to you whether you want them to save your Wi-Fi passwords or not. I'm going to say no to that just in case there's any security breaches. So selected no press the middle button but if you've got um, a few Amazon de devices then it may be worth saying yes to that so that uh, it makes it easier for those devices to be set up but if you're not sure just say no okay so it's asking here do you want to set up parental controls well that's entirely up to you I'm going to say no I've got no children that use this so I'm just going to select no middle button and now it says it's optimizing and it's now loading so here we go so it's just given us a bit of an advert for Amazon Prime so I'm just going to press the middle button on the remote to continue so there you go the fire tv stick has now been reset and it's back to its vanilla form here with no apps loaded and we can go on and we can reload any apps that we might need so there you go hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching i hope you liked this video and if you did hit that like button if you think your friends your family or your work colleagues might like it then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines and if you haven't done so already make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all you can also find me on twitter at cwtech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk liking sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel thank you very much